everybody. I just pulled this TH350 out of my Jeep over here. And I was thinking, I think maybe maybe people want to see it a little bit better. Just um, in case you guys want to put a 3H350 inside your Willys Jeep. Um, I didn't do this, but did pretty good. Whoever I bought this from did this, the old man, I guess. Uh, he just put a C channel here, one inch, right in front of the radiator. He just did self-tapping screws through here, there and there, and then he ran his wires underneath, and if you could see them, they go back into the transmission. So that's how he ran that cooler. Um, unhooked the cooler, this is coming off next, gonna cut that off with the, the grinder, die grinder. Uh, I pulled off all the, the front drive line, uh, the body armor I have down there, and then I got this thing off. So, oh yeah, if you haven't seen this thing, those fit right into there. You can see where it, see these bolts here? It fits right into there, and it bolts into that side, and into that side. That's right here, see? You have to pop this off and there's an allen key right here and that goes into the shifter down there there's another bolt that goes onto that so that pops off and then you're able to get into these bolts and these ones you're able to get into then that comes right off and that's your shifter uh, the wires this one goes to to the starter and then I clip the one that goes to the key ignition well that came out and then underneath here <clears throat> you can see I took off the transfer case and it just make it a lot easier to pull out um, I had trouble with these lines so I had to cut it um, this is I think it's stripped I had that flare on there and I was yanking it and it was twisting and corkscrewing the line so I was just like well we might as well just cut it this one came out good no problems yep drained the transmission oil out of there um, You can see where it fits right on the back of that. There's the TH350, and then here's is the adapter. And the transfer case mounts on the back side of that adapter. <clears throat> it's good, good to go. I think we got it. Alright. Outstanding. So I lifted this thing up on its side. You can see how um, the previous owner, I didn't put this in, somebody else did, and they did a really good job. They cut out a piece of this pan here to make clearance. For the drive shaft as it comes off to the the back end here um, you have to have that if you're going to put a th350 into one of these flat fenders or into a cj5 early cj5 uh, you have to cut this piece out and re-weld it to make clearance for that drive shaft and that's an important piece right here to make this work other than that um, there's nothing that goes into the, so yeah, you can see there's not, there's no clearance issues here. You don't have to cut out the floor or anything like that. The only thing is the shifters come back a little bit. Uh, so you have to make a hole there for your shifters. But as far as the regular hole goes, um, it's normal. There was no cutting or anything on the, on the firewall. 
it just went right in it looks like because it came right out without any issues of course you need the adapter thing here to go to your transfer case um, this is a low car shifter I think I went right in there but yeah thought I'd just uh, point that out people want to know about it thanks for watching